So you've likely heard of ChatGPT. It is the fastest tool ever in history to grow to 1 million users, faster than Facebook, faster than Twitter, and they grew extremely fast. But do you know how to use it effectively for your real estate business? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you five exact use cases of how you as a real estate agent can actually use this tool in a tangible way for your real estate business moving into 2023. So stay tuned for that because I'm actually gonna give you a live demo of how this works and you can use it in the exact same same way for yourself. If you don't know me, my name is Eric B. Press. I'm a founder and CEO of Agent Launch. We help real estate agents build holistic client acquisition systems they actually own and control, which is contrary to most of the industry, which creates real estate agents as renters or renting products and services where we create real estate agents who are owners, which is at the end of the day, what us as real estate agents are doing for our clients. If you want to learn more, check out agentlaunch.com. Also, if you want our client acquisition masterclass, where we teach you how to generate 30 clients online next year using digital marketing, such as Google and YouTube, leave a comment below and I'll make Make sure to get you a copy of our masterclass. Now, without further ado, let's go over to my screen here. I'm going to show you how to use chat GPT. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to chat.openai.com. That's going to allow you to sign up for chat GPT and start using this tool. At the moment of this video, it's completely free, but they did say they're losing $3 million a day right now. So that is not going to stay that way forever. So make sure you take advantage of this tool. Now, there's a few ways that I'm going to show you in which you can actually use this tool in a really smart way for your real estate business. The first one, one is actually to create property descriptions for your listings. I'm going to go in here and I have some pre-written stuff that I'm going to plug in to just show you the power of this tool. This is what I would say. And you want to be creative when you tell the AI tool what you want, because you can tell it to do a lot of things that I'm going to show you in this video. So the first thing is generate a 100 word property description for a two bed, two bath character home built in 1972 in Bonnie Lake, Washington, and just watch what it comes up with. Welcome to this charming character home located in the desirable Bonnie Lake neighborhood built in 1972. This two bed, two bath home boasts a classic and timeless design. The exterior features a beautiful brick facade while the interior boasts hardwood floors and a cozy fireplace. The kitchen has been updated with modern appliances and offers plenty of counter space for a home chef. Both bedrooms are spacious and offer ample storage space. The backyard is perfect for entertaining and features a large patio and mature trees. This home is a must see for anyone looking for a place in Bonnie Lake's history. You obviously want to go ahead and customize that to the actual features of the place. We don't know if it has a brick facade, but it's giving you an example of how to highlight these things in a really well-written way. Highly recommend using this for your property descriptions. Note that this is like version one of the public tool. So just imagine what this tool will be able to do on version 10. So make sure you use this to give a really professionally written property description and then customize it obviously according to the actual listing. So that's the first thing. The second thing is to write your social media content. Now this is going to be a really popular one for you guys and you can use this in a lot of cool ways. Rate me a 200 word Facebook post on how a pre-inspection can get you more for your house in a humorous tone. Now you can always tell ChatGPT when you're writing content to actually write in a specific tone, in a serious tone, in an informative tone, in a humorous tone, in a funny, whatever you want to do. So let's see what it comes up with. Hey friends, so you're thinking of selling your house and want to maximize your profits, right? Well, listen up because I've I got a little secret for you. Get a pre-inspection. I know, I know, I know. It might seem like an unnecessary expense at first, but trust me, it's worth every penny. Think of it this way. A pre-inspection is like a personal trainer for your house. It gets it in tip-top shape before the big reveal, aka the actual home inspection. It's like those embarrassing before and after transformation photos except for your house. And who doesn't love a good transformation photo? So let's say your house has a few problem areas. We all have them. A pre-inspection will help identify and fix those issues before potential buyers come snooping around. This not only makes your house more attractive to buyers, it means you can potentially ask for a higher price. It's a win-win situation. So don't be afraid to invest in a pre-inspection. It might just be a little boost your house needs to sell for top dollar. Happy selling. So in my opinion, this is a little off. Like, you know, the idea behind a pre-inspection is to facilitate the sale quicker so you don't have to rely on the buyer actually going out and doing that. Obviously, they have the right to get another inspection if they want to, but it should facilitate the sale. And it is right in the sense that'll uncover any problems so that you can fix them before it goes to market. This is just a cool way to actually write your social media content and it will write it for the each individual platform. Like you can have this write YouTube scripts. You can have this write a lot of different things, which brings me to my next point, which is writing blogs. So let's try this again. Write a 300 word blog on how interest rates will affect the real estate market in 2023. Now, again, I always recommend taking this as a framework and then customizing it and spending a decent amount of time actually customizing it to making your own. So let's see what this comes up with. Interest rates play a crucial role in the real estate market as they can significantly impact the cost of borrowing money for a mortgage. As such, it is important to keep an eye on interest rates, especially if you're thinking of buying or selling a home in the near future. So what can we expect from interest rates in 2023? 
2023, it's difficult to say for certain, but as interest rates are influenced by a number of factors, including inflation, economic growth, and the overall stability of the financial market. However, we can look at some of the factors that may impact interest rates in the coming year. One factor to consider is the current state of the economy. If the economy is strong and growing, it's likely that interest rates will rise, as lenders feel more comfortable lending money at higher rates. On the other hand, if the economy is struggling, interest rates may remain low or even decrease in an effort to encourage borrowing and stimulate economic growth. Another factor to consider is inflation. I'm not going to keep reading this all out, but you get the idea. It's writing a pretty damn good post on how interest rates are going to affect the market. Now, you could actually use a blog as a YouTube script anyway. So if you wanted to make a YouTube video, you could actually use this as a framework for the video you're going to create. So leveraging this tool will actually give you a lot of frameworks to use in the content you're putting out there. And it might even stimulate some ideas for you to like add things, subtract things and really make it your own. That's number three. Number four is getting help handling certain situations in real estate. So here's a fun one that I know a lot of new agents deal with. How do I handle a real estate client when they ask how many homes I've sold and I haven't sold that many? This is a common problem with new real estate agents. It's like, how do I go up against the big dogs when I haven't actually done a whole lot of business? So let's see what it comes up with. It can be intimidating to receive a question about your sales history, especially if you haven't sold many homes. However, it's important to remember that the numbers of homes you've sold is just one factor for potential clients that may consider when deciding to work with you. Here are a few strategies you can use to address the question and highlight other qualifications and experiences. Emphasizing your skills and knowledge, share your successes, focus on your future goals. Let's see what else it comes up with. So you can use this for objection handling, et cetera, et cetera. But remember this is AI. So this is going to get smarter over time with more inputs and more people working with it. Here's a good one, partner with a more experienced agent. If you're feeling overwhelmed, unsure how to address your limited sales history, you may consider a partner with a more experienced agent or team. This can help provide additional support and guidance as you build your own real estate career. That's a great piece of advice. Overall, it's important to remember that your sales history is just one aspect of your real estate career. By focusing on your skills, success, future goals, you can demonstrate your value as an agent and build trust with potential clients. So really interesting, the types of advice that this can crowdsource and pull from the world and then to share with you. Now, the last one, I love this because I actually had this tool to review our contract and you can do the same. You can get this tool to write you code for your website. Like if you say, write me CSS code to make buttons green, it'll do that. You can literally write code with this tool if you don't know code. Here's a fun one for real estate though, is write me a subject to inspection clause for a real estate contract. So if you're putting it in a clause that isn't in your default contract in your market, you can have it write this clause for you. So let's see what it comes up with. Subject to inspection clause. The contract is subject to the buyer's satisfaction with the result of any inspections by the property the buyer may choose to conduct within insert number of days of the date of this contract. If the buyer is not satisfied with the results of the inspection, the buyer may terminate this contract by providing written notice to the seller within insert number of days of receiving the inspection report. In the event of termination, the buyer shall be entitled to a full refund of any deposit made. This clause shall not extend the clause closing date of this contract. Pretty cool, you can actually write contract clauses with this tool too. Anyways, those are five ways you can use this tool. Obviously, there's a lot more ways you can use it. Those are just five. I encourage you all to spend some time with this when you come into problems and you need support. This tool is going to replace a lot of industries and people and jobs. And so yes, in a way there's downsides to that, but like with any innovation, there's going to be winners, there's going to be losers. This always happens, it's a trend. And so we have to embrace this tool because it's here and it's not going away. These are just some ways that you can leverage out AI to improve some of the operations in your real estate business. You can also use it, and this is a bonus trick, is you can also have your admin, or in our case at Agent Launch, we call it an REOA, which is a real estate operations assistant where they do a lot more than admin. That's a role we actually train in place, but you can train that person actually use this tool to write copy for you. So if you're working with remote VAs or remote employees who maybe English is in their first language, this tool will actually help them come up with well-structured language for different things for you so that you're not fully relying on them to write this high level of content. Like, let's be honest, this writes better copy than pretty much anyone out there for the most part. Unless you're a copywriter, if you're really good at copy, it's something I consider myself rather strong at, but this will write it really eloquently. So this will help your assistant actually do these tasks for you, which is really, really, really cool when you think about it. So anyways, be sure to leave a comment below if you want a copy of our masterclass on how to acquire 30 clients online next year using Google, using YouTube, using sales strategies, all of the above. It's an hour and a half and goes really in depth. So leave a comment for that. If you want to apply to work with Agent Launch, you can go to our website, agentlaunch.com, click get started. You can apply and book an intro call with us and we'll definitely walk you through all the things that we do to help you become an owner instead of a renter. But until further ado, everyone, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh yeah, be sure to subscribe, like, do all the things. See you in the next one.